Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some new spoilers, some new leaks from Episode 7 coming from Canada Graph. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so currently right now I am moving into my university, so I'm not sure how the schedule will go for the next few days. But bear with me for the first week. I will aim to upload a video, you know, once every two days, fingers crossed. Maybe every day. I don't know how it's going to go. But, yeah, so just sort of moving in right now. So bear with the channel for, you know, this week. And I think it all will be fine from then. But anyway, so episode 7. We don't know the title yet. But this is coming from Canada Graphs. So we're going to talk about some of the descriptions that he was able to get from the set. Also a bunch of photos, in this video I'm showing 8 photos rather than the normal 6 that you know we're permitted to use online. So please be sure to go to Canada Graphs' blog because there is a lot of photos this time and I'm talking like over 20 so yeah a lot of stuff that you guys can go check out after or during this video on his blog. Also follow him on Twitter at Canada Graphs for regular updates when these blog posts comes and you know he sometimes posts sneak previews of what he's gonna put on his blog okay so episode 7 this is what happened and we'll go through the description first and then we'll talk about some of the photos okay so the flash was on location for the seventh episode of the season on Friday in downtown Vancouver the episode is directed by Chad Lowe so let's talk about this quick so Chad Lowe you guys may remember his name if you watch my Supergirl videos. He appeared in season 3 for a little bit because he played one of the followers of Rain and he was around and he directed two episodes of Supergirl so far. So he's an actor but also he's a director and he seems to be, you know, pretty decent at directing. Like he's done some pretty good episodes when he's done it on Supergirl and so obviously they were impressed and the CW were like, Oh, do you want to direct The Flash? So this is a nice addition that this episode has been directed by him because we've seen a lot of episodes from him too so far on Supergirl and I would like to see his take on The Flash. Okay, so let's move on. So on set during the daytime scenes, there were Grant Gustin as both Barry Allen and The Flash and Sentil Rama Murphy and, sorry if I'm butchering his name, but as Dr. Ramsey Rosso. And so Grant stunt double was the Flash at certain points in the day and additionally there was another actor who was playing the victim of a car accident and she had blood running out of her nose and so there was a stand-in for Barry Allen for part of the day when the camera isn't focused on him and the scenes that were shot don't really make a lot of sense to Canada Graphs right now as far as you know when he was on set and so in an early scene Grant was dressed as Barry and he was standing with Ramsey and they were staring at a car crash when suddenly the flash slips in and treats the woman at the crash Barry moves closer to investigate this apparent version of the flash that he sees there But it doesn't seem like he interacts with him in any way just stares at him as he crouches down near him Is blood work responsible for this? Why are Barry and Ramsey seemingly chummy still in episode 7? And yeah, so that's quite a lot of information and it's very interesting. So let's break this bit down. So during the daytime scenes, Grant was there as Barry and the Flash. From what I can gather, and I'll talk about in a minute, it seems like he's Barry with Ramsey, and then he turns into the Flash because he zips in, and that's going to be, you know, added in after in the edit. So, Ramsey's still here, and Grant has his stunt double because, you know, he's doing double duty with the Flash and Barry. And then the scene that Canada Graph saw didn't really make sense because... You know, Ramsey and him seem to be, you know, working together, and it's episode 7, and Crisis is going to be episode 9, I do believe. So, are they going to be, like, really close until, like, one episode, then he's just going to go away? That really doesn't make sense to me as well. Or is this something else that we don't understand right now? Is this, you know, him conjuring something up, or... I have no idea, it's kind of weird because the way Eric Wallace, the new showrunner, sort of described blood work is he's going to be a first part of the season villain, then he's done, but they've only got like two episodes left of the first part of the season of them filming, so why are they together? That's very curious, and I don't know what's happening right here, but Barry moves closer to investigate this car crash, 
We'll talk about the photos in a minute, but let's scroll down and talk a bit about what he says next. So a bit later, it was time for Grant to be dressed up as the Flash. During that scene, we see him zip in and treat the woman at the crash. At one point, he takes his glove off and seemingly places his hand on her. And moments later, the woman comes to life and they look on. And so this bit, from my personal opinion, it definitely seems like he sort of vibrates his hand or like, you know, surges like he did to, I think it was Jesse Quick. Well, he's done it a few times, sort of spark something or spark a person back to life essentially with his speed force energy. And so moving on to the next bit, this is of course the first onset in public shots of Grant in the new season six suit. It was also the first onset look at Dr. Ramsey Rosso on the set. Okay, so that is the description for now. Let's move on to the photos. So we've got eight photos to go over in this video. The first photo comes from the first bit that I talked about, and it's this scene right here you're seeing on the screen. You can see Ramsey, you can see Barry. They are together, and, you know, they're just in casual wear. He's not in, like, any blood work, you know, makeup or anything. I don't know how they're going to do blood work. I think they may CGI him a bit when he goes full on blood work. However, Barry's normal, they seem to be working together, which again, I find weird, because this episode 7, if it was episode like 3, I would be like, okay, fine, maybe episode 4, you know, fine. So, I'm a bit confused about that, like Canada Graphs is. So, yeah, they are seemingly working together, and it seems like they come in as normal, and Ramsey, when the Flash shows up, he's sort of examining him of sorts. And Barry's just, you know, seen this car crash, he zips away, and he's the Flash, and, you know, there is some reason for Barry not being there, unless he knows Barry's the Flash already, because, you know, Barry has a bad habit of saying that. But, we get this next photo right here, you see the camera's working, we got a close-up of Grant on the camera, you can see, and I can't really make out, like, any title or anything from you know, the card on the side, but what we do know is that they are together and they seem to be maybe working together or they're just strolling and they happen to come across this crash. And then we move on to the next photo, you see Grant in his costume. I really, really think this costume's a massive upgrade. I don't think it's the best Flash suit we've ever had, but I think it's a humongous upgrade looking at this suit from the Season 5 suit. So, you know, it's kind of similar with the texturing and I think they could, you know, benefit maybe next season going back to the leather look. I think it looks more padded, it looks a bit more real and a bit less like a comic book. I know it's supposed to be very comic booky, but I kind of prefer that season 2 and 3 look and season 1 as well. And so you get to see, like, the full look at his suit essentially. We've got the golden stripes all over, you know, he doesn't have his mask on at this point, so it seems like... This is a cow that is not necessarily connected all the time, but it's more like a, say, like a hood or something, you know, like a hat that goes around rather than a helmet like last season, which was weird. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. You see Grant, and you just, you know, it's just a look at him, and this is between takes. He's with, you know, the cast and crew, and they're just talking about stuff that's going to happen. His hair's very messed up because he's been in the cow and looking at the cow right here it does seem like it is not attached and it doesn't just flick back like the old cow however it looks like there is like a slot inside the suit so that the cow can fit on nicely and the cow really does fit very well i think it looks really good it's a massive upgrade like i said i didn't like it last season without the cow you know be, being properly done and especially the chin strap the chin strap looks really good you know, it's back to normal, and you got a look at the new earpieces the other day. I think the earpieces look cool. Wasn't like the biggest fan in the poster, but that was definitely the angle. It looks really cool from here. And so, yeah, just a nice look at Barry. We get this shot right here. The microphone is hanging down, and he's on the ground, and I think he may be talking to the car crash victim because there's a car right next to him. And so this car crash victim... I think this is definitely linked to blood work because there's blood pouring out of her nose. You know, I don't think she's going to be anyone significant, but I think it may be blood work manipulating what is happening here, especially with the blood and, you know, the fact that blood work is literally there. So I'm interested to see that. 
and so we get this photo from behind the scenes Grant is here and also he's here with blood work and the thing is he's in his flash suit and you know he's you know obviously not in costume he's got a hoodie on maybe it's a little bit cold down in Vancouver however it seems like maybe at this point he knows he's the Flash. I don't really know. But what do you think? Let me know your theories in the comments down below. I'm very excited for this season. And all these leaks and these spoilers are very exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.